my dear students in this video we are going to continue with the uh, stacks representation of stacks in memory so here there are two different methods in which we are going to represent stack in memory the first one is static representation using arrays which is fixed in nature dynamic representation using a linked list so which is variable in nature so let us continue with the first one array representation of a stack so that is the static structure or a fixed structure here you can see in the diagram here we have got a array that consisting of number of elements and the subscript starts from 0 1 2 3 so on and here we can see one pointer called as top top is a pointer pointing to null for the first time once it is incremented it points to the zeroth location and next it is point to first location and the second index and so on so it is called as stack grows in this direction here you can see in the diagram below for the first time there are three elements to be inserted in this particular array but right now it is empty and now we are adding one element which goes and settle at the bottom and second element we want to insert so we will be able to insert elements from the same end that is only from one end is called as top end so from the top we are inserting the second element in order to remove the first element we require to remove first second element out and then we'll be able to remove the first element this is how the stack works algorithm for pop operation step one if top is equal to null so that is if it is top is equal to minus one if it is pointing to null then it is going to print stack is empty exit and end of if if this is false then we are going to have the elements in the stack that is to be removed or popped out of the stack this is initialized to item means what we are removing one particular data item of this particular top position from the stack and initialized to item and by decrementing the value of top by one so top is equal to top minus one why top minus one because the pointer always by default points to the last element in the stack once one element is removed from the stack the pointer will get down to the next level which is below the level of the previous one and next is step four that is it is going to return the updated stack and now this is the time to go for a programming example how to pop out or how to remove the item from the stack for that i will take you to my laptop screen here uh, we will write a single line comment as write a program to pop the elements from the stack hash include io stream dot h header file hash include conio dot h header file hash include here we are going to write std lib dot h header file so that is standard library dot h header file that consisting of one inbuilt function called exit next let us define the global variable hash define capital n and 5 here we'll write wide main curly open brace we are going to declare all the variables including stack array and inside the square bracket we are going to write capital n so that takes the value from the global variable hash define n5 so here we are going to initialize this array with assignment operator and all the five elements so here we will write 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 comma 50 next put semicolon and declare all other variables so one variable called choice is equal to one one represented is always true and element that is to be popped out ele top is equal to four so here the 4 is the index number top is a pointer pointing to the last index that consisting of the element 50 now let us write a CLR SCR function then 
we are going to use looping structure while and inside the round braces as expression we are going to write choice to curly open brace c out and here we are going to create the menu for the end user here we will write stack operations and then we will use backward slash n backward slash n and here we will write the first menu that is pop backward slash n and the second menu should be display here we will write capital P yes okay next backward slash n and then the third one should be exit here we will use backward slash n and now we are asking the user to enter their choice enter your choice now we will use scene and here we will use choice next we are going to use a switch statement in a switch expression also we are going to use choice because user may select either one that is pop to display or three exit so let us continue with the first case case number one and then if here we will write top is equal to minus one if it is true then see out it should display that the stack should be empty so stack is empty now we will put get ch then we are going to write exit function so this particular function is present in standard library dot h header file then put curly closing brace and then use else part and curly open brace and here we are going to use for looping structure because we will start pointing from the last element so that is int i is equal to top and then i is greater than or equal to 0 then i minus minus so next element is equal to stack and here in a square bracket we are going to write top so from the top it has to pop out next see out the information is the popped element is here we are going to write the element which is popped out next we will write top minus minus and then we are going to use break statement curly closing brace for this else part next we will move on to case 2 colon if top is equal to minus 1 then it should display c out stack is empty yes. next get ch and exit function then curly closing brace otherwise else part curly open brace here we are going to write c out it should display the content yes if the user presses the second option then it should display the content of stack is backward slash n then it should display all the elements so using for loop for i is equal to uh, here we will write top and then i is greater than or equal to 0 then i minus minus so it has to display all the elements from the top so c out and here in a double quotation mark we will write stack and then we will use square bracket and here it should display the value so using insertion operator using insertion operator then i want to display the closing square bracket and equal to symbol and it should display the value stored in stack of ith element and we'll use yandel statement now we'll write break statement and then put curly closing brace to close this else block now we'll go for case number three so here we have to exit out next 
if the user enters any other number other than 1, 2 and 3 then the default statement has to get executes. So here we will write C out and in a double quotation mark we will write invalid choice. Curly closing brace for switch statement and this is for while loop and here we'll write get ch and then we are going to write closing curly braces for main function now let us compile this program and here we'll see one error so here it is not defined let us define it as int next again compile here it is success so click on run and here you can see it is displaying the menu the first one is pop second one is display and the third one is exit so let us see all the elements are initialized or not by pressing 2 here you can see stack of 0 consisting of 10 stack of 1 consisting of 20 stack of 2 consisting of 30 stack of 3 consisting of 40 and stack of 4 consisting of 50 now we want to pop out the first element from the top that is 50 so let us press 1 to pop out here you can see the popped element is 50 now I am going to press 2 to display here you can see 50 is popped out only 10 20 30 40 is present again I am going to press 1 to pop out 40 next you can see display and 10 20 30 is present again I am going to pop out, pop out 30 you can see here 30 is popped out and we will remain with 10 20 now I want to pop out 20 press 1 here you can see 20 is popped out display and here you can see stack of 0 is equal to 10 that is the last element let me press 1 to pop out that is 10 to pop out from the stack now 10 is also popped out now it should display the stack is empty if I press 2 here you can see stack is empty